Hello dear kids now we are going to start chapter 3 from your NS Olympiad workbook for grade 3 and the chapter name is food so let's start in this chapter we are going to discuss food and food types sources of food healthy eating and cooking habits cultural diversity in food food help our body to grow keep us healthy and provide us energy to work and play so what will do food in our body it help our body to grow first thing keep us healthy second thing and provide us energy to work and play so this is the role of food for our body we eat various part of different plant as food first is stem like sugar cane and potato wheat a stem of them leaves like spinach and cabbage these are leafy vegetables root turnip and carrot radish these are root vegetables flowers cauliflower and broccoli these are the flower wheat food grains like cereals wheat and rice and pulses pea and grams we get food from many animals example milk food honey and meat fruits what we eat fruits that like apple and mango these are fruit we eat as our food so these are the different type of food which we get from the plant and animals types of food there are mainly three types of food first is energy giving food second is body building food and third one is protective food so food play three main role in our body that is energy giving body building and protection so for all these three function we eat different different type of food like for energy what we eat uh, they contain carbohydrate and fats like potato rice bread butter and ghee these are energy giving food that what we eat body for body building what we need we need protein rich food like milk cheese fish egg pulses and meat these are body building foods next one is protective food to prevent us from falling sick they contain vitamin c and minerals example fruit and vegetables these are protective foods which increase immunity of our immunity system so we cannot get sick easily by the environment or any virus or bacteria next is healthy cooking and eating habits what are healthy cooking and eating habits first one is food must be cooked properly it can be cooked by boiling baking frying roasting grilling and steaming these are the different different process by which we prepare our food always wash your hands before and after every meal we must eat slowly and chew food well this is very important kids we should chew our food very well next is do not eat uncovered food sold by hawkers we must avoid eating junk food also because junk food will decrease our immunity and we will get fall sick easily next is cultural diversity in food different people living in different parts of the world have diverse food habits this is because the food we eat depend upon the region we live in the availability of food items our habits customs and religious beliefs like people living in south india like eat idli dosa rice and sambar which people south indian people people living in punjab they like to eat makki ki roti sarso ka saag dal people living of some regions are purely vegetarian while other are not so different different people of all different different religions they have different different food habits like some are purely vegetarians like so let's start with our question question one is i am a land plant my leaves are used as vegetable and seeds are used to produce oil look kids plant which 
leaves are used as vegetable and seeds are used produce oil so mustard yes we eat mustard leaves as vegetable and mustard seed produce mustard oil so this is the right answer next question is milk is complete food because it contain milk contain proteins yes carbohydrate and fats yes vitamins and minerals yes it consists actually all of these option d is right answer next is makke ki roti and sarso ka saag is preferred food of look makke ki di roti and sarso da saag this is the food from the punjab option c is right answer next is read the given statement and select the option that correctly fills the blank in it we get t from what we get t from t leaves leaves of a plant whereas we get coffee from seeds coffee seeds so coffee is from seeds and uh, tea from tea leaves option d is right answer next is minerals help in the formation of what from minerals what we form in our body bones yes teeth yes calcium mineral help in formation of bones teeth teeth enamel is, uh, will also made by calcium blood we need iron we need potassium for formation of blood so all of these can be formed by minerals option d is right answer next is dash is a spice obtained from the plant stem and dash is a spice obtained from flower bud so which spices obtained from the plant stem look at the options clove fennel no fennel is seed not bud <coughs> cinnamon fennel no coriander chili coriander is leaf chili is chili is the fruit cinnamon and clove cinnamon and clove yes this will be the clove is the flower bud yes this is right and cinnamon is the plant stem this is also right option d is right answer next is which of the following food item is are considered as vegetarian milk vegetarian meat no Vest this is considered as non vegetarian honey vegetarian look milk we get from the cow buffalo goat meat we get from the goat hen etc honey we get from the bees so all these are animal product but these two are considered as these two are considered as vegetarian but this is considered as non vegetarian so a and c both are the right answer next is read the given statements first one cooking make the food soft tasty and easy to chew and digest number 2 reheating the food again and again restores nutrient in the food wrong reheating will destroy the nutrients eating junk food very often can lead to health problems yes this is correct old people need not need food that is raw and hard to chew this is also wrong old people need soft food that is easily chewable so which of these statement is are correct Lo look at the statements first one was correct second was wrong third was correct and fourth was wrong so first and third is only correct statement option c is right answer next is select the incorrect option regarding the given food items first one is samosa or we in english we say crisol option b fruits and option c is chocolate so a person who is recovering from illness should take a lot of number 2 bilkul sahi absolutely right overeating of one regularly may lead to obesity this is also right so number 3 give us lots of energy when hungry this is this give us lots of energy when we are hungry absolutely right this is energy giving food because it is made up of cocoa and milk so none of these is incorrect option d is right answer next is the food that we eat depend on the 
reason we live in availability of food items religious beliefs and all of these all of these is right answer because if the people lives near the sea they eat seafood most availability of food items yes if the if uh, a person is living in the coastal area they will eat more maximum seafood but if they live in desert then how they find fishes to eat so they live desert food which is available there and religious religious belief yes so all of this is the right answer option d is right answer next is select the correct option to fill the empty boxes of the given flow chart so we eat the root of root of what first one potato and second is onion potato is right but onion is wrong onion is not a root plant this is wrong sugar cane and ginger sugar cane is stem not root this is stem ginger is root turnip and spinach spinach is leaf not root this is root only this is root only and fourth one is sweet potato this is right sweet potato is root turnip is also root so option d can fill all these boxes so option d is right answer next is select the correct statement wash fruits and vegetable properly after cutting them no we should wash properly them before it cutting not after cutting this is wrong statement b overcooking decrease the nutritive value of food this is absolutely right correct statement if we cook food again and again then their nutrition will decrease or destroy option c people who eat drink animal food products such as honey and milk are called non vegetarian no the, these products are considered as vegetarian products only this is also wrong statement growing children need more fat to build strong muscles no they need more energy giving food or body building food so this is wrong option b is only correct statement next is the food prepared by which of the following method of cooking are healthy for an obese person if a person is obese so they need steaming food right steamed food is easy to digest boiling food this is also right this this food is also easily digestible frying food look kids we fry food in the oil or ghee and this fry food will be not easily digestible so this type of food is not considered for obese person fourth roasting this is also can be digest easily because in roasting we does not use ghee or oil in much quantity or we, we use it in very very less quantity so first second and fourth they all are considerable but not third one two and four only option is right answer question 14 is which of the following is are not a method of cooking first one is pickling pickling is a method of preservation of foods we do pick Uh, we uh, we make pickles from this method we make jams from this method grilling roasting they both are the uh, cooking food methods and sieving is the separation method so only 2 and 3 are considered as cooking method 1 and 4 are not a cooking method so not a cooking method for 1 and 4 only option d is right answer next is read the given statement and select the correct one first one drying and refrigeration are not two method of cooking food this is wrong birds like hen and duck provide both egg and meat this is correct people like love to eat eggs from the duck and hen and they also use it them for meat option c roughage helping growth and repair of damaged tissue no this is wrong people who do more physical work need more vitamins and minerals in their diet no this is also wrong they need more energy giving food so is only the correct statement next is refer to the given classification chart identify p and q here is p and here is q look at the chart first this is food energy giving and body building food 
P is energy giving and Q is body building food. Let's check them. Here, ghee. Ghee is energy giving food, right? And pulses are body building food. Grains and pulses are body building. This is also right. A is right. Cereals and chapati. Chapati is not body building food. This is wrong. Milk and chapati. This is also wrong. Bread and cereals. Bread is energy giving, serious bodybuilding, not. This is wrong. Only option A is the right answer. Butter have carbohydrates. Egg have fats or protein. Cheese have fats, protein and... But here C. Look at the C, Idli. Idli is made up of rice flour, semolina or urad dal. It is rich in carbohydrate, protein and roughage. In all this, uh, all three items are present in it. So option C is the correct answer for food X. Next is which of the following food product is hidden in the given grid. Look at the options first. A liquid that is considered complete food. A liquid which is considered complete food that is called milk. Liquid only milk is the complete food. A carbohydrate rich food that is rich in roughage also that is called porridge. A protein rich food that is obtained from birds that is eggs. A fat rich food obtained from the plant which also gives coir that is called fat rich food product from the plant that is an oil. So let's check what we have in the grid. We have first one milk. What we have milk here. No, we don't have milk. Uh, we have porridge. Yes, in first line we have porridge. This is porridge. You can see here. And eggs. No, we don't have egg. And oil. We also don't have oil. So only option B is in hidden grid. Option B is right answer. The conventional food cooking food method involving in making one of these item is hidden in the grid. Select the food item. Let's check. Pizza is making by baking. Idli by steaming. Momos are, momos are also made by steaming. And samosa by frying. So let's check which one we have in the grid. We have baking in the grid. So it means the pizza is the answer for the question 19. Next is refer to the given flow chart and select the option correctly. Identify P, Q and R. Here flow chart. It is a component of food. Yes. It protects us from falling ill. P is yes. Protect us from falling pill. It means it may be fruits. Because they help in build immunity. No excess of it can make an obesity. It means it is a junk food. It means Q. Q is a junk food. Or no R. R is not a junk food. So let's check what is P, Q and R. First one P is fats. No, this is wrong. In uh, B, P is carbohydrates. Uh, no, this is also wrong. C, P is vitamins. Yes, fruit give us vitamins. Fruit are rich of vitamins. So it is right. Uh, for Q, it is junk food or fat, it give fatty food. This is right. And third one is proteinous food. This is also right. So it means option C is the right answer because P, Q are matching with our requirement. Fourth one is minerals. It can be, but water is not right. And carbohydrates, no. Option C is only right answer. So kids, here we learn about chapter food. Repeat this video. Learn all the questions, their methods. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel KVS Coach. And don't forget to press bell icon to get notification for each new video. Thank you. Bye-bye.